Friends, today we'll explore the story of a couple who regularly traveled to unique vacation spots, reviewing picturesque rental homes. However, their adventure takes a chilling turn when they visit a particularly eerie house where strange events unfold. With no understanding of why this is happening, the question arises, were they trapped in this haunted dwelling forever, or did they manage to escape? Let's find out. In the story's onset, we meet a young couple, Mike and Claire, who ran a YouTube channel, Superhost. They toured various locations, providing reviews on rental properties. Once a thriving channel, Superhost was now struggling, losing subscribers rapidly. Financial troubles were so dire that they were forced to borrow money from Mike's parents to make ends meet, causing significant strain on their relationship. However, Mike planned to propose to Claire on their next trip, hoping to brighten their challenging circumstances. Their next destination was a picturesque house nestled in the mountains, a location they had long to visit but was perpetually booked. On this occasion, they finally managed to secure a reservation. The host, going by the username Betty Lou 52 maintained an impeccable record for the property. Upon arrival, Mike and Claire found themselves locked out as the provided door code failed. After multiple unsuccessful attempts to reach the host due to a lack of cell service, they decided to shoot some footage for their channel while waiting. While recording, they encountered a peculiar woman, Rebecca, whose appearance and mannerisms were quite unsettling. Rebecca, who had been observing the couple through her security cameras, had arrived to rectify the door code issue. She explained that the previous tenants overstayed, forcing her to change the security code, but she neglected to relay the new code to Mike and Claire. Once inside, Mike and Claire were not disappointed by the house's beauty, mirroring the images they had seen online. They started exploring with Mike inspecting the restroom and Claire attempting to feature Rebecca in their video. Initially hesitant, Rebecca eventually agreed to participate, revealing that the house was currently in the off-season and she hadn't expected any guests until the following week. During their conversation, Mike informed Rebecca of a malfunctioning toilet flush. Rebecca assured him she would return the next day with the necessary tools for the repair. Once Rebecca left, Mike and Claire continued filming, documenting every corner of the house and highlighting odd aspects like the lack of curtains, off-limits basement, omnipresent security cameras, and a cat room despite no cat being present. Despite being unsatisfied with the footage, Claire insisted on Mike uploading it. Due to the slow internet connection, it took longer than expected. Afterward, the couple retreated to the balcony, discussing their dire situation. Claire was particularly concerned about their predicament but Mike reassured her, expressing contentment and facing challenges together. Later that night, Mike discovered the video still hadn't uploaded. Feeling restless, he went out on the balcony for fresh air, only to spot Rebecca standing ominously in the road, her eyes gleaming in the dark. Before he could react, Claire joined him on the balcony, and when he looked back, Rebecca had vanished, leaving Mike unsettled. The next day, Mike learned their YouTube channel had been suspended, which Claire attributed to their negative review of Rebecca's house. Attempting to contact YouTube's helpline proved difficult due to the weak signal, forcing Claire to step outside for the call. Meanwhile, Rebecca returned to fix the toilet. Despite Claire being on an important call, Rebecca attempted to engage her in conversation. Claire, however, directed her to Mike. Rebecca tried repairing the toilet, but when her efforts proved unsuccessful, she vowed to bring a specialist the next day. She also implored Mike to refrain from posting negative reviews about the house's broken toilet. Upon her return, Claire shared her frustrating experience with the weak signal and her attempts to restore their YouTube account. Later, they took a walk in the woods, where Claire voiced her concerns about their declining viewership and the wisdom of continuing their channel. Mike, however, expressed his joy in making videos with her and his desire to keep the channel active. Back at the house, while reviewing the footage, Claire couldn't shake off the feeling of unease looking at Rebecca's disturbing and creepy expressions captured on video. That night, as Mike and Claire slept, they were abruptly awakened by a strange noise from outside. Claire was frightened and attempted to call the police, but her phone had no service. She asked Mike to check the alarm. Despite the alarm being activated, he decided to turn it off and then on again for reassurance. Just as he was about to return, another noise echoed from the bathroom. Upon investigation, he discovered that the toilet was malfunctioning because of a set of fake teeth stuck in the flush. After removing them, the toilet functioned properly. The next morning, Mike received a message from YouTube, notifying him that their account was reactivated. This news somewhat lifted their spirits. Mike, in his underwear, went downstairs to find Rebecca cooking in the kitchen. In light of recent events, she had decided to make breakfast for him. Mike found this unusual and returned to his bedroom, 
After dressing, both Mike and Claire joined Rebecca for breakfast. Claire enjoyed the breakfast and started to appreciate the unusual circumstances. She glanced at the security camera and expressed gratitude, only to hear Rebecca's voice from the security system responding, You're most welcome, realizing that Rebecca was not only watching, but also listening to them. They were shocked. Later, as Mike and Claire prepared to record a video about their stay, Mike reminded Claire that Rebecca could be listening in. They turned off the camera in their room to ensure privacy. Suddenly, a stone was thrown through a window from outside, barely missing Mike. Rushing outside, they found a woman named Vera, the co-host of the house, standing there. She expressed her frustration about the negative review they'd given her property, explaining it had significantly reduced its demand. Vera confessed to reporting them on YouTube, causing their channel suspension and throwing the stone. Upon witnessing the broken window, Rebecca appeared and angrily threatened to call the police if Vera didn't leave, despite Vera's pleas to be cautious with Mike and Claire to avoid another negative review. Rebecca shouted and threatened her until she left. After the confrontation, Rebecca offered to do an interview for Mike and Claire's house review video. She began the interview nervously, loudly exclaiming to ease her tension. Rebecca shared that the house was her late father's and she considered it a keepsake of him. Therefore, she lived nearby to maintain the property. To avoid it sitting empty, she rented it out. When asked about her most memorable tenants, she mentioned an old couple who once invited her to spend the holidays with them, which led to her breaking down in tears. Sensing her discomfort, Mike ended the interview. That evening, while reviewing their footage, Claire noticed Rebecca's behavior appeared eccentric on screen. She suggested that viewers enjoy watching such characters, and that they should focus more on her. After making this point, she retired to bed. However, Mike stayed up a bit longer to reveal to the viewers his plan to propose to Claire the next day. Later, Rebecca, peering through a window, saw them sleeping, her face full of anger. The following day, during a walk in the wilderness, Mike asked Claire to turn off the camera so he could propose. Elated, she accepted but quickly turned the camera back on, asking him to propose again for the viewers. Mike was upset by this, not wanting to share such a personal moment. He returned to the rental house in a huff. Realizing her mistake, Claire apologized and promised to leave the camera off until they were home. Back at the house, Claire found her laptop open to Rebecca's interview. Meanwhile, Mike found a piece of mail addressed to a Betty Lau Johnson, which matched Rebecca's username Betty Lau 52 Alarmed, Mike started packing to leave. Initially, Claire wanted to stay for more video content. But when the security camera turned towards them, she too was frightened and decided to leave. Once they were in the car and away from the house, they felt safer. But their relief was short-lived when they spotted Rebecca standing in the middle of the road. Due to this, they had to stop their car. She doesn't appear too concerned about their early departure. She simply tells them that she has a final surprise for them. With that, she takes the camera and urges them to come along. Mike is reluctant to go, but Claire convinces him by promising to capture more footage of Rebecca, which will improve their videos. Claire explains that if their videos get more views, they won't have to take a loan from anyone. After turning on the camera, they head towards the jungle behind Rebecca. On the way, Rebecca introduces herself in the same manner as Mike and Claire always do at the start of their videos. As they enter the dense jungle, Rebecca starts making jumping and scary sounds intermittently, even laughing like crazy to frighten them. Finally, they reach a spot where Vera is sitting under a tree, her hands and feet tied and tape over her mouth. Witnessing this, they are shocked. Simultaneously, Rebecca takes out a knife and asks Claire to record everything. Rebecca expresses her sadness that she didn't enjoy staying there, which led her to plan this surprise. Without further ado, she removes her coat and hangs it on a tree. Then she apologizes to Vera and brutally attacks her face with the knife, followed by repeatedly stabbing her in the stomach. This horrifying scene terrifies Mike and Claire, prompting them to run away immediately. After killing Vera, Rebecca starts chasing them while recording herself with the camera. Realizing that it wouldn't be safe to approach the car as Rebecca might be waiting there, they dash towards the house. Upon entering, they lock themselves in, but Mike eventually goes outside to call the police. As Rebecca's voice echoes from the jungle, Mike hurries back inside and they lock the door together. Claire activates the alarm trying to inform the police, but unfortunately, it malfunctions. They notice Rebecca outside the window, holding the key to her car. They closely monitor her every move, and when she reaches the door, they use all their strength to prevent her from entering. Claire pleads with Rebecca, promising to delete all the jungle footage and keep everything a secret. Rebecca remains skeptical but briefly leaves to find another way in. 
Claire mistakenly enters the storage room, where she wasn't supposed to go. Meanwhile, Mike observes Rebecca through the window and hears screams from the storage room, realizing that Claire is in danger. He rushes to save her, but he's too late. Rebecca has a firm grip on Claire's hair and a knife aimed at her throat. Despite Mike's efforts, he witnesses Rebecca fatally slashing Claire's throat. Shocked and in pain, Mike escapes the house and shuts the door. He struggles to walk due to his injury and falls to the ground. Rebecca exits through a secret door in the basement, and Mike resumes running away. Rebecca follows closely, recording herself and taunting him like a YouTuber, boasting about her killings. Due to Mike's bleeding wounds, Rebecca easily tracks him. Mike encounters Betty Lou and her cat's lifeless bodies, further motivating him to run faster. He reaches his car, but it's locked, and he can't open it. Attempting to call the police, the loud beeping from the car disrupts his call. Realizing the beeping is from Rebecca's car remote intended to confuse him, he knows she's almost on him. When she finally catches up, she finds Mike nearly incapacitated by the car. Rebecca sets up the camera to record and places the engagement ring from Mike's pocket on her finger before brutally killing him with a knife. Afterward, she places Mike's body in the trunk of the car, drives home, and washes her hands. She transfers the engagement ring to her necklace. Upon checking the storage room, she finds that the video Claire uploaded seeking help had already been posted. Though initially worried, she finds relief in the viewers' comments, believing they think it's just an act to make the video go viral. Rebecca is delighted and stops the video on the computer, smiling as she attends to Claire's body. Friends, remember to subscribe to our channel, 